that today Noir, my baby black jaguar, is having trouble pooping. These are rosette spots. Leopards have rosettes and so do jaguars. He's taking the beef really gently, which is exactly what we want. Basically, we just gotta get the motion going and look at this. He's starting to poop. He's coming out, right? What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today, Noir, my baby black jaguar, is having trouble pooping. He is just a little bit constipated. Noir didn't poop yesterday. He didn't poop this morning, so he is having a little bit trouble pooping. He has been peeing. So we have got to get this issue under control. So today, I am going to do everything in my power to get Noir to poop. But before we can do that, I actually set a trap in my back grove for some predators last night. I have not checked that trap yet today. So before we can see if Noir wants to poop, well, we've got to head to my back grove and we've got to check this trap. All right, so we made it to the back grove and we are going to check one of the traps, the only trap that we set last night. Again, we are trying to actually catch some predators, so we're not sure what could be in here. This is like my trap spot right over here. So we've got one of my old traps here. We've got another old one, but that little trap, I don't know if you can see it right there. That trap right there is, oh, Wait, oh, that's the front of it. It's closed, so we might have something in it. So let's walk up. Oh, I see something. There's something in the trap. There's something in the trap. I don't even know what it is yet. Comment down below what is inside of this trap. Again, we set these traps every single night, seven days a week, 365 days a year when we have these animals. So this is, again, one of our traps that kind of just went bad. Another one, but one, two. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, look. It is a tiny baby possum. Look at him. He is so cute. So last night we put some water in there and we also baited it with some cat food, which cat food tends to be the, one of the possum's absolute favorite food. So we don't want to spook him too much because this is definitely a very, very young possum. So we're just going to gently kind of just place him down and look at him. So you can see he's pooped in here, but look at him. So right now he's got his mouth open, but possums are actually one of the best native animals you could actually have in your yard. The reason being is these little crazy creatures right here, they actually eat ticks, they eat spiders, they eat all kinds of bugs, ticks that might have Lyme disease. So they're actually really good and they actually can't catch a lot of diseases. Like rabies, they can't catch it. So these guys are just really good to have around and they're actually North America's only marsupial. So if this is a female, she's gonna have a little pouch on the bottom. So let's go find a good spot for him. We're kinda, I'm thinking we're gonna take him right over here. That's another one of our traps. So we're gonna go walk them through the grove and we're gonna find the perfect spot to release them All right, so we found the perfect place to release our little possum So it is about to start pouring rain. So we got to be really quick here right now So we're just gonna open up our trap door and we're gonna let this little guy right on out just a little bit nervous So I just that's why I just want to reach inside of here come here And we're just gonna kind of lift him up just like this to get him out of the trap now possums have a prehensile tail so you can actually lift their tail up no problem he is definitely just a little bit afraid, but he is just absolutely adorable. I think he's just so cute. And guys, he's a little boy right now. If you come to the back right here, you can see that he is definitely a little boy. You can see his little balls right there. So we're gonna let him go right now. Bye, buddy. All right, he's not running away, so let's bring him right by the tree right now. Again, you're able to safely handle possums by the tail. It is raining, so we're gonna let him go right here in the bushes. Go be free. Bye. We're gonna let him go right now and be free. Like I said, it's raining, so buddy, be safe. I reset the trap and hopefully in the morning we will have caught something else, hopefully the desired animal, which is some kind of a predator. But I'm thankful we were able to release the possum safely. So now that we got to check our trap, we got to release the baby possum that we caught. Now it is time to go inside of our meat room. I'm gonna be prepping Noir's food, then we're gonna take him outside, we're gonna feed him and see if he can poop. So I just made it into my brand new carnivore room. I showed you it for the first time on the channel a couple of days ago, but for those of you that have not seen it, this is the carnivore room. This is where I store all of the meat and where all of the meat prep done for all the carnivores, mainly all of the cats that I have here on the property for Cheech Chong, China, Ollie, Nebula, and Noir. So right now, we are making Noir's food. So right now we have 12 ounces of this fresh beef, all human grade beef. We've got 12 ounces of this good stuff right here here and we have to supplement it with our big cat vitamins and calcium so we're just going to kind of sprinkle the rest of this on for noir's meal for today 
day. Now we have our calcium and vitamins on. We want to mix it in nice and thoroughly so he doesn't really taste it. When you leave the white powdery stuff on the outside, sometimes he doesn't like it, and all the cats. So you want to mix it nice and thoroughly, you know, season the beef. I've got Noir's food ready to go. We got it nice and covered up because we don't want any bugs on it. So now that Noir's food is ready, I'm going to go grab him. We're going to put a harness on him. I'm going to take him outside. We're going to feed this little crazy jaguar kid, and hopefully after he eats, we kind of can get those bowels going. I know he's been a little bit constipated, and hopefully then after, he'll poop. All right, guys, we made it outside with little Noir, the baby black jaguar. This incredible black panther kid here today is just sniffing around in the grass, and like I was telling you guys, he has been having some constipation issues the past day he has not pooped so today we're gonna be feeding him outside we're gonna try to get him to poop and pee so let me know down below guys is he gonna poop or pee he's definitely most likely gonna pee but we are not sure if he is going to poop so Noir actually comes out on walks every single day three times a day in the morning in the afternoon and the late afternoon new sights sounds and smells really is the greatest gift that you can give any big cat so, since the last time you saw Noir, he's gotten a lot bigger. He's gotta be pushing about 20 pounds right now. And he just loves hanging outside with me, as you can see. So, I'm not sure if you guys can see these spots right here, but these are rosette spots. So, leopards have rosettes and so do jaguars, but even the black ones have those rosettes in this right lighting. Again, I don't know if you can see it, but in the right lighting, you can see the light and the dark spots. And one way you can always tell the jaguar from the leopard is the jaguars are from a different continent and the rosettes actually have little dots inside of them instead of being clear. So, Noir, let's go for our walk. Let's go eat our food. Let's go see if we want to poop. You want to come with me, sir? Yes, let's go, sir, please, let's go. Noir, let's go eat. It's time to go eat right now. So, I bring Noir out to play and he already knows what time it is. He comes right here onto his platform. So right now, he knows it is feeding time. This is where we actually feed Noir every single day, twice a day. Come here, little guy, come here. We're gonna give him his first little bite of food right here. So Noir's getting his first bite of food and typically we unclip him from the leash once we do that. Come here, buddy, come, come, come eat your beef right here. So right now, we're gonna get him his first couple pieces just right here on the feeding station. And I'm gonna make him come walk from side to side and see if he'll actually sit right now. So he's being trained to sit. Can you sit for me? Look at you, Noir, you are going to the camera. Come here, little guy. Come here, you wanna eat some beef right now? So you can see he's taking the beef really gently, which is exactly what we want, is to have him here just very nicely take it. So he decided to not eat it on the platform right now, but let's see if we can take him off. So this beef, again, like I was telling you guys, is all human grade. That's exactly what I feed the cats, and it's supplemented with that calcium and Oasis vitamins. But soon enough, we're gonna move them to some finely ground bones to kind of get some natural calcium that way. Store-bought meat is pretty nutrient deficient for big cats, because in the wild, they're gonna eat the organs, the livers, the heart, the spleens, all that stuff that's full of all the real good nutrition. So let's see if Noir wants to make his way back to the station. Come here, boy. Come. Will you sit for me? Sit. Sit. Come here, boy, and there you go. You got your red meat right there. So Noir is almost done with his meat. Sit, hold. So as you can see, he's sitting, and that's exactly what we want. On command, Noir is actually learning how to sit, which is exactly what we want. We want to be able to train our cats to listen. So in certain circumstances, he knows to sit still, such as giving him medication, doing a dental exam, examining his claws. This comes in handy incredibly well with any kind of big cat to actually have him learn to sit, to stay, to hold. That is how you have a good working relationship with a big cat. Noir absolutely crushed his food, and now that he got to eat all of his food, we're gonna take him inside, we're gonna see if he can poop, but again, guys, let me know down below, is he gonna poop? One minute, 37 seconds later. So we made it back inside to Noir's indoor room, and now we have got to see if Noir wants to pee. So basically, I still stimulate him when he's in his room because I don't want him to pee everywhere and get it everywhere. So basically, we just gotta get the motion going, and look at this. Look at this, guys. We got a peeing jaguar, and you wouldn't believe how much pee comes out of him. I would say it's about half of a water bottle at a time. You can see it's just flowing out, and this way we can ensure that he stays nice and clean because he's not going to be slipping and sliding through his pee, and I get to know that he is peeing. But like I was saying, we've got to make sure that he's going to poop because he has had a little, just a little bit of trouble pooping um, in the past day, but he's been peeing fine. So we're just going to keep on rubbing on out just like that. We're just gonna wanna rub it just like that and get the last little bit, but you can see he's focused, he's concentrated on peeing, on pooping. 
So we're just gonna rub it right here. And this is exactly what the mom would do with her tongue. She would stimulate her young, but at this age, he can actually pee and poop on his own. But this is what they would do on young cats. I've explained it in many of our videos. So we're just gonna rub and see if he can poop. One hour later. Oh, he's starting to poop. It's coming out, right? It's a weird angle, but it's coming out. You think he was a little constipated, but we got him distracted on the ball. Wait, oh, it just came out. Wait, look at that. Guys, Noir, you did so well. Look at that. Look, we got him to poop. This is exactly what we wanted Noir to poop, and you can see it is the right consistency. You don't want the poop to be too soft, but you also don't want it to be too hard. You want it to be this really nice kind of soft consistency, as you can see here. It's kind of almost like Play-Doh. That is exactly what we want. Successful mission. So that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of my constipated black Jaguar Noir. And it is just amazing to be able to wake up every day surrounded by the most incredible animals on this planet. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite part of today's video and if you want to see no more grow up you want to see more poop you want to see tigers lions turtles and tortoises and all kinds of crazy animals well guys all you have to do is go right now hit the subscribe button tap that little notification bell and you'll be notified whenever i post